The app that's taken teenagers by storm, TikTok, now facing a storm of a different kind, accused of posing a possible security risk. As if 2020 isn't bad enough already, there's a rumor going around that TikTok may be shutting down. Can this possibly be true? Or is this some kind of BFF, as in big, fat, fake? Hey guys, Bill here. You know, TikTok has been downloaded by more than 2 billion people. It's become one of the most popular video sharing platforms in the world. Hi everybody, Howie Mandel here. Creativity in just under a minute. Scientists have made a new disturbing discovery about 2020. Macaroni sour! Long neck! That's the last macaroni sour ah! in the world! But just recently, it was banned by India, and now the United States is thinking about doing the same thing. Listen to what the U.S. Secretary of State had to say just the other day. Where we believe that U.S. citizens' data that they have on their phones or in their system or in their health care records, we want to make sure that the Chinese Communist Party doesn't have a way to easily access that. And At the heart of the matter are two things. Number one is the growing awareness that TikTok is actually owned by a Chinese company and it might have spyware on it. I made a video about this very subject not too long ago. When China has data on 110 million Americans, who knows what they do with it? The second issue is growing tensions between China and the United States on a variety of issues, which I won't go into here, but let's just say there's a lot of them. Now, for its part, TikTok has been claiming all along it does not share user information with the Chinese government. But if it does get banned in the U.S., it may be forced to shut down. All right, so now I think it's time for you to let me know what you think, okay? If you think TikTok, realizing you know a whole bunch of countries are about to ban it, has already decided to shut down and then maybe open up under a different name, something like that, I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think TikTok is just gonna keep going no matter what, then you vote fake. And as usual, if you don't think I have a smoking gun answer on this one, then you vote unknown, okay? Now, we used to vote up here, but YouTube took that away, unfortunately. So if you wanna vote and see what other people are voting, then what you do is you go down to the description box, click the link over to my community page, uh, make your vote there, then just hit the back button and you'll come back to the video right where you left it off and you can see whether you're right or not. If you don't wanna go through all that, it's okay to leave your answer down in the comment section or do what this guy does and just shout it out, okay? Okay, while you're getting all that done, I'm gonna get out this and we're gonna find out what the official answer here uh, is gonna be. I, you know, in, in my opinion, I, you know, like TikTok is like a genie that came out of the bottle. I don't know how you put it back in, you know? So, and besides, can you imagine how many angry people are gonna be out there if you shut that thing down? Oh my God. All right, let's see what the official answer says here. And here's their hope, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, I guess that depends on your point of view. You might hope that it's gonna close down or you might hope that it's gonna stay open, but the official answer is... <sighs> Unknown. According to lawyers from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, it would be very hard for the United States to ban TikTok outright. But what may shut it down, however, is people turning away from the app on their own. Just today, gaming megastar Ninja said he was deleting TikTok for invading his private data. At this point, TikTok has suggested it might remake itself into a US-based company to calm people's fears. But right now, there is no decision about that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say for right now that TikTok is not really going anywhere. More likely, what we're gonna start seeing is software to control the app. Now, if you wanna know what I mean by that, listen to this interview that I conducted just yesterday with Gary Malivsky, the publisher and editor of Cyber Defense Magazine. Listen to what he has to say. I don't think it's gonna disappear. I think that military and government personnel are not gonna be allowed to have certain apps on their devices. And in corporate America, we have what's called you know, mobile app management, there's these mobile app controlling things, there's, you know, when you come into work, MDM, mobile device management, so they may actually say at certain large companies, 
you know, maybe Coca-Cola and Pepsi and others, hey, we don't want apps that could be used to spy on us while we have secret formulas. So when you bring your phone to work, you're going to have to install an app from us at the company that controls the behavior of your device. So, for example, TikTok won't function at work. So there's, there's different technologies and ways, but I don't think it's going to disappear. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.